What happened this day in history, Mr. Caesar? Well, on this day, November 27th, we're going way back here. In 2008, Iraq's parliament approved a pact requiring all U.S. troops to be out of the country by January 1st, 2012. January 1st, 2012. Hmm, January 1st, 2012. How many, how many troops do we have in Iraq right now? Uh, it's hard to say because there's contractors and they're not on the lists and all that jazz. But mm. one thing that can be proven from this statement is that it was signed by President George W. Bush. So all this jazz that Obama got the soldiers out of Iraq is bullshit. So I'd like to remind everyone on that. And <laughs> well, also, also that this agreement was signed by Bush and was attempted to be subverted by Barack by Obama. Obama. He tried to oh, extend really? that. No. He tried to get the Iraqi government to accept an extension of that agreement so that U.S. forces could be in Iraq longer so that he could keep spending more taxpayer dollars for the military industrial complex. He could keep paying off his sponsors. And it's really disgusting to see that Obama has been, I don't know, an agent of very little change. Yeah, and he gets way more credit than he's worth because he's done nothing. He really does. It is it is really frustrating to hear his supporters uh, give him credit for things like this where you know, it's just totally backwards from what his real... Uh, his real policies have been since he took office. He's not been pro-peace whatsoever by any stretch of the imagination. And now we have the Israeli campaign about 600 missiles. 600 missiles! Would you tolerate 600 missiles being launched into your city? Hell no! Hell no. Israel has a right to <laughs> retaliate. Right. Everyone's got a right to shelf the bitch. Meanwhile, <laughs> <clears throat> meanwhile, Barack Obama is sending way more drone missiles into all sorts of countries around the world, despite the fact that he himself said no country would tolerate 600 missiles. You don't have constitutional rights. You have natural rights. Yeah, it's critical. It's the, it's the blueprint of the nation. You could remain a sniveling little bitch, hiding your insecurity. 